You may have thought this pantry situation is all done and dusted. But you'd be very, very, very wrong about that. And this first bit that we pointed is only the beginning of the pantry. This is just the entrance. Now we've still got all the other bit behind here to do. We'd be very happy to know that our plan of making this as beautiful as possible with help from the chandelier did work on Stephanie and she loves the look of this. So we're gonna replicate this in there. Because in here is where the food is actually stored. It's the same situation. It's got all the old plaster still on the wall which needs to come off anyway. And once all that's off, we can then point the walls. Now the walls are a little bit different in here. Now the walls on this side and on this side are exactly the same as in there, they're brick. But this wall and this wall are both stone, so that'll be a slightly different look. It's actually a little bit more complicated to point up and get it looking nice and flat, but that's the plan. So the girls have been working tirelessly to empty this pantry, get rid of all the stuff we're not using and move the stuff we are using so I can start making a mess in here, which that's just what I'm good at, as you all know. All of my friends say, girl, you better take care. Cause that man is trouble, you best be aware. And load it down, I know I want to get it to your dust. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. Right. You may want to watch this bit on a time lapse. It's going to take a while. Yeah, we're back to this situation again. Let's just air that out a bit and I'll come back and show you what I'm doing. So like I said before, this and this wall is stone which does take a little bit longer to prep and it takes a little bit longer to point as well. I'm just going to do a bit of exploring on this wall because obviously this window has been made and you can see a difference here that it's been plastered and not rendered, which means it may not be stone behind there. So I'm gonna start chipping it off and see what's behind there. If it isn't stone, this area might have to kind of be just a bit different, a bit flatter. <sighs> All right. Well, it does look like it's all cut stone, nice coin stones, nice big stones, so I think we're good. So you can see on this bit that I've exposed these massive, massive coin stones which are going to look really, really nice when it's all pointed and they're exposed. It's kind of mirrored either side so I think once it's pointed and exposed it's going to look really, really good. And there's also this oak lintel here which we can expose and point around and oil up and make it look really nice as well. So it's going to be a good wall. <sighs> okay, I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer get this bottom half of this brick exposed and then I can see them both together and I can make a decision on how I'm going to point it and just the overall look, try to get it in my head. Getting too old for this sort of stuff. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of contrast. So we're gonna have the bricks pointed same as we've done in there, and then the stone 
probably flatter, so maybe not every stone will be exposed, but we'll try to flatten out a bit because it's got to be usable, it's got to be clean. Anyway, I've had enough. I'm filthy, my back's hurting. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>